trust me when I say that this Death Knight excels at nothing. Just wanted to give a quick thank you to everyone that's been showing us support on the YouTube channel. We're almost at 8,500 subscriptions, and if we get 500 subscriptions in the next couple of days, by the end of the month, then I'll be giving away three mini sets. But, but don't just think that that's where we're stopping. If we can reach 10k, 10k subscriptions by the end of this month, I'll be giving away six mini set bundles. So guys, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you want, want to be notified about more content when it's released. So if you think that I've earned your sub, go ahead and hit that button down below. But why am I talking about a Death Knight deck that it sells at nothing? Why would I ever do something like this? Well, because I made a runeless Death Knight deck. Yep, I, ha I had to, sh I had to sh hide my face a little bit for the shame, but I'll tell you right now, I got a puzzle box of Yogg-Saron while playing this deck because, uh, it turns out that Murloc, uh, Murloc Holmes in this deck is actually the perfect fit if you can use it correctly in order to, you know, go up against Death Knights and take their deck. So you can go up against Shaman, steal their Evolves, or in this case, I went up against a random mage and I took their puzzle box of Yoxeron. And just in case you guys wanted to see what the box did, I'll, I'll go ahead and spoil it for you. It, it didn't do anything that impressive. But I mean, 6, six HP. My opponent also didn't play the box during this game, which goes to show, you know, how how uh, how sad they are. You know, they didn't believe in the Yogg, like I did. But I mean, what, you guys, you guys notice something that's not happening? You guys, you, how many how many Pride Furies have been now? I think three. I think three Pride Furies, maybe four. I don't know. I can't I can't count. The box is supposed to count for me, and what I still count are no minions on the field. Even with the Convoke the Spirits, where like half of the spells summon minions. But I only hit stuff that buffed my board. But yeah, that was my puzzle box of Yoxeron with the uh, the random puzzle box in the uh, the runeless Death Knight deck. And here is the entire uh, the entire deck that I settled on. I think I only made a few changes, but we added in Malignant Horrors for something else that just wasn't performing. But the main reason why I'm even bringing attention uh, to this in general is because of a tweet from Atsuna. So let me go ahead and pull this up real quick. Pretty much, Atsuna made this tweet talking about how he was able to make this double rune unholy Death Knight deck, which will actually be the next video coming up after I post this one. Uh, but the main reason why I was thinking about this is because I saw this shell of Death Knight cards, and this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 16 cards, which is literally half a deck. So how hard can it be in order to flesh out the other half of the deck in order to some somewhat be good in the, in the in the current metagame? Because the real reason why I wanted to try this was to prove to you guys how good Construct Quarter and the Egg Combination really are. It is so strong that I actually did not net net negative any games. I actually net one win positive with this with this list, and I believe it's because people had no idea what I was playing. Although, the Death Knight matchups gave me a little bit of trouble. Like, this Death Knight was a loss, this was an auto win because they conceded on turn one. This was a loss, but then I finally got the clip that I wanted was uh, if we could potentially beat a Death Knight. And that was really the only thing I wanted to do. I wanted to beat a Death Knight with a runeless Death Knight in order to show my Death Knight dominance. But then I started winning against other classes somewhat legitimately. Again, to prove the strength of how good Construct Quarter with all of these other minions are. And this is just essentially an aggro deck that is trying to storm the board, summon as much stats as possible, and send as much damage to the face. The only reason why this deck sucks is because you don't have cards like, you know, like Frostworm Fury or Vampiric Blood. Or, you know, all, like, or, or you don't even get to run freaking Sindragosa in this deck. You can't even run Patchwork. Like, it's just, it's just, this deck is obviously bad, but the fact that I was able to go 6-1 and one in Legend with it goes to show that Death Knight is extremely powerful right now. So if there's any, any Death Knight archetype that you want to, uh, that you want to bring attention to, I'm sorry that I've been, uh, hogging the list as long as I have been. But, oh my god, dude, like, this list felt better than I originally suspected. And again, the fact that I was able to go six, uh, uh, 7 and 6 with this deck is actually mind-blowing, in my opinion. But just in case you guys don't understand what exactly is going on here with the mulligan, it's it's really straightforward. Just just mulligan for egg, just mulligan for location. You can keep, like, a, a chill farm baron or maybe, like, a, another one drop as well in order to tempo onto the field. Obviously, keep your rancher when you're on coin. Murloc Holmes, I would damn near just keep in your mulligan. You'll see this coming up in the clips ahead. This card, when you know how to play it, you gotta know how to play it. When you know how to play it, it just gives you three extra cards. And, my god, it, it is one of the only good resource generations in this deck. But I mean, it goes to show you how much Death Knight really does value its room cards. 
I definitely wouldn't recommend that you guys waste your time playing this deck, but I really wanted to see if I could fulfill the meme of a runeless death knight going up against a regular death knight. And I hope that these clips can somewhat uh, dissuade you away from wanting to try this deck, but I can't stop your decisions at the end of the day. I can only influence them. So influence them I shall, and I will try to influence you with my cool memes, but I will also influence you to tell you not to play them and not to risk your ranks for them, unless you truly don't care about your ranks. And sometimes you do gotta play it for fun. Ranks are important in Hearthstone. What's more important? Playing fun decks that actually make you happy. And those are the only kind of decks that you're gonna find on this channel. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want more decks just like this. I hope you guys enjoy saying no and rejecting every major decision that life throws at you. And we'll see you for the next video. Oh, will serve me in okay. Death. We got the best card in the deck. Good start. Can we get the second best card in the deck? Alright, a one drop is close enough. Okay, Renathal deck, this should be exactly the kind of deck I should be able to beat, right? Theoretically. Alright, absolutely nothing. We can try to build up the corpses to make the malignant horror pretty decent. These four corpses, right? I can play Squirpid, try to go a little bit wider. But nah, I just gotta I just gotta take over the board. The four or five damage is really important. And now that we have school teacher, we have the curve. Alright. Here we go. I believe this might be the game. But we really gotta avoid 3-2. Oh boy. There's 3-2. Uh I could do this. But then I don't get my corpse value. I think I'm just gonna do this because I need the 4-4. Four four. Ooh, anti-magic with this would be really good. All right, there we go. We got a game plan now. Hit him in the face. Is that location so good that you can put random uh, minions into a death knight and it's now viable? We're we're finding that out. We're we're exact. We're finding e that answer exactly. Actually, yeah, yeah. But in all honesty, like it, it's to go. It, it goes to show you like how good the death rattle synergy can be when you can literally activate the death rattle and summon a minion. Like oh my oh my dear lord. So I have to do it this way. As much as I would like to get the malignant horror value, it's not the reason I'm gonna win this game. But if I do something like this, it's really hard for him to come back. All right, there we go. I'm winning with car, like you can't even say that, oh man, you're doing what every other deck does. Well, like, yeah, that's because it's the core set of the Death Might class. That's the whole point. And you don't even need any rune cards to do it. That's how good Construct Quarter is. Congratulations. Your your criticism has now turned into my exact point. <laughs> okay, this is the counterplay he would need. One, two, three. Then he can kill the two, two. But I've still got nine, 12 damage. He's still alive, though. He's still living. Still breathing. We need to fix that. Alright, there we go. I really don't want to kill any of these minions, and getting rid of my uh, my hero power doesn't seem worth it when I can go wider this way. Oh, yeah, now it's a 4-4. Four, four. Boom. Boom. I'm. I, I, we figured it out. We figured it out. Just queue into Druid. Let's see, spammy Arcanist, I think, is the only thing I have to worry about. Oh, shit. Wait, that's still lethal, though, right? We got it! We finally got a W. Yeah, baby. Malignant Horrors actually kind of did something. He, yeah, they actually did something, dude. Let's go. That was a sweet, that was a, that was a sweet synergy with the, uh, the arm healer. All right, well, now we got to find a Death Knight and beat a Death Knight. Is it possible to beat a Death Knight with this deck? I actually think that Malignant Horror might be the least played Death Knight card in all of Standard. Either that or Frostmourne. They're literally playing both of them, so... I usually lose when I keep Murloc Holmes, but he's just so he's just so adorable. You look at him, he just wants to crack the case. I want to help him crack the case, so let, let's see what we can find. Alright, so this is some kind of Evolved Shaman. Oh my god, I can steal his Evolved Tools. This is actually so big brain. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Is Murloc Holmes how you counter Shaman right now? Like, unironically, dude. You play this on turn three, you get three cards added to your hand. Most likely, you get it like a Null or something. 
I'm gonna do this on turn three. Yeah, 100%. I don't really have that big of a Thaddeus payoff, though, unfortunately. <laughs> but I can find it. I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm gonna go all in with the damage. There we go. Because now we got our 3 4. We have more card draw. We have the Scorpid if we need to try and find a card. Okay, taught me. Ooh, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna do this is instead. This, this is all about how good Construct Corner is. Sometimes you just, you just gotta play with the cards you're dealt. And I get more information on my opponent. Okay, so now, now case in point, I know that he's got those big cards in hand. That helps us. Let's take a peek. Okay, so it has to be Prescience on the starting hand, right? Wait, hold on a minute. I wasn't paying attention. Was that actually a card that he kept in hand? Yes, because one of his zeros is gone. He's only played one card, so it is Prescience. Oh, it didn't give me any of the minions? Wait a minute, but what if I get Bloodlust? Oh my god. He just drew some fives. These actually might be cards that it, This is the cards that are in his hand. It's Vulgin and Neptalon, which means I need to kill the board. And I actually can't kill the entire board. Wait, can I? Oh my god, I almost can. So we know for a fact that he's literally gonna Vulgin into Neptalon. Unless he gets unlucky. But if that doesn't happen, I have Bloodlust. Is Bloodlust actually possible? Alright. Damn it. Asphyxiate? Do I really just have to roll it? Bloodlust could technically clear. Uh, wait, could it? Yeah, I could clear. I'd have to remove everything, though, and we're never going to win if that happens. All right, asphyxiate me, dude. Asphyxiate me, dude. Unholy Frenzy? Wait, that works. That's actually huge, dude, because this comes back with Rush. All right, all right. Wait, and this means I get to keep my Bloodlust board. Hello? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. All right, all right. Mur Dude, Murloc Holmes! Murloc Holmes! I thought he would have the Vulgin play, but I guess he didn't have those cards drawn. And if he didn't go for that, then lol, joke's on him. Wait, but he had the Nolan hand. He, he couldn't guarantee it. That's why he wouldn't go for that. I'm actually just the better gamer. Yeah, I know, I know, right? If I can win with this Bloodlust, I'm 100% the better gamer. All right, that's kind of unfortunate. Do I still just pop off the Bloodlust here? So Bloodlust is 9. Put him at 14. Death. I think I need to go wide. Maybe I can find like Grave Strength on this or something. Oh my god, Frost Room Fury. Oh, there's the Grave Strength. Anti Magic Show would have been great. Equip. I didn't want. I didn't want to play the. Um. I didn't want to play the Frostmorn, because if I do that, then my board doesn't become more threatening, and I need a threatening board here. And I actually think I need to go with Death Strike, just so that way I can maybe deal with like a Thaddeus Evolve. Bloodlust knockoff Grave Strength. I know, right? For one more man, I get to guarantee three attack. I don't know, man. I, I don't. I don't have. I don't have ways to really spend corpses in my deck. It's just a worse Grave Strength. <laughs> Is this really all he's doing? How How is this the best play that you have? Is it really just going to be this simple? What the hell can he even find? A taunt minion, I guess? Dude, I'm literally about to kill him with his own bloodlust. Is, is Murloc Holmes a card we need to start running on our decks now? Yo! Runeless DK to prove a point, Pog. Oh my god, dude, Otsuna. Dude, Murloc Holmes is actually giga busted, dude. I'm not even kidding. We won that game because of Murloc Holmes. Jesus Christ. 
will serve me in death. All right, goodbye. Damn, dude, none of these games I had like the uh, the egg into the uh, the coin quarter. Feels bad. I'm not a good gamer, man. I have to I have to come out and tell you the truth. <laughs> I am an imposter. Me have bad for you. Me have bad for you. I should go wide here. It's kind of surprising to see that Amalgam doesn't really fit the uh, fit the bill for a lot of people anymore. And yeah, Sylvanas actually so might fresh. be good at taking like a bigger minion. Got a decent amount of, uh, of uh, synergies they'll have stockpiling throughout the game. Yo, Malkbot! Or Malkbot. Good to have you here, man. Thanks for that follow. Hope you're having a good one. Thanks for chilling with us. Alright. Keep up the board. We're playing worse unholy, quote-unquote. And as long as they don't have a way to like deal with this, then maybe this is really good. No! It's another Blood Death Knight! No! <laughs> oh my god. I can't get lucky, dude. Every time I want to see the Frost Death Knight, or the, or the Unholy, it's always the other one. Ay ay ay, dude. Alright, well maybe Nerubian Vizier can find something. You could say uh, that you and that archetype of, de of Death Knight have bad blood. <laughs> Ooh, blood tap? For zero? Yo. Sure. I'll make a I'll make a four four. This is working. Just okay. If there's one time to not have blood boil, let it be now. Let it be now. If you want a corpse explosion, I will I will deal. I will deal with that. Okay. I tried. I try I tried negotiating. Now we have now we gotta use brute force. Arcane I'm a genius. Everyone stand back, I'm a genius. Oh wait a minute. I should have actually hit the 2-2 two -two instead of the 4-3. That was dumb of me. No 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 no, it's dumb. That was dumb. Because it still would have been the same amount. This is not going to go here versus going into the other one. Oh my god, yeah, okay. Wait, no! Gimme. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Technically, we misplayed, but let's not think about it. Let's go. No misplays, only Clark plays. I like the way you think. Is this really it? This is the corpse explosion? Oh my god, okay, 7-7. Seven, seven. Goes, to, goes to the face. How can I find lethal? I need five damage somehow. So Nerubian Vizier or uh, school teacher finding. Um, well, I guess I should go with Nerubian Vizier. I have to worry about Soul Stealer, but if that comes down, this is not lethal. Damn, so close. Ugh, okay. Stealing that no muncher was honestly huge though, dude. Clark Kent wins. Not even with a dead. Give me a one drop. Oh my god! Oh! The frost will be lethal! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god, we are the Death Knight that beats Death Knights and I don't need fruits! <laughs> oh my god! We actually killed someone with Frostmourne! Frostmourne hungers! Oh my god. Absolutely insane, dude. Ah, oh, we did it. That's the highlight. See you on YouTube, everybody. That's right. See you on YouTube.